Hey, what's up, guys? Sandeep here, and in this video today, I'll be sharing my Capgemini interview experience. Uh, so I gave Capgemini interview interview for approx uh, for like three weeks back now, and yeah, I'll be sharing whatever the questions there has been asked. So let's start. So b before starting, it's for two to eight years of experience, and they were hiring for uh, Hyderabad, Kolkata. Uh, Mumbai, uh, Delhi, and some other locations. So yeah, so yeah, let's start. So before starting, there uh, there are two rounds basically that happened uh, for me. Uh, first one was the technical itself, and the second round was the HR. The technical was a bit short, which is thirty minutes, approx thirty to forty minutes round. Uh, on paper, in on paper, they quote it at thirty minutes, but it may go somewhat around thirty to forty minutes. So uh, I'll say exactly it's it's thirty minutes. So that's pure technical, and HR is around ten minutes, ten to fifteen minutes, based on uh, how your discussion goes with the HR people. So these are the questions, set of questions that have been asked in my. Uh, technical round which is the round one the first interview asked was the difference between a single page application and multiple multiple like multiple page application and how does it work so you need to explain these two things uh, you can learn this concept uh, by googling uh, so yeah mm. then after saying that uh, what are the advantages of react he asked me i gave some points uh, on based on the previous single page application concepts uh, then after that he asked me about what is the difference between a functional component and a class component and which one will you choose uh, so yeah that is that now you can tell specific reasons for your uh, like let's say if you choose functional components over class components you you should have a valid reason uh, uh, on saying whichever you will choose for me i didn't say exactly a valid reasons for i just said that uh, for me, it's a functional component which I like love to work with because it's compact, short, and I explained why. So after that, he told me to create a React app uh, in Code Sandbox. Any of the editor, I opened up Code Sandbox, and there he told me to create an app, uh, and within an app, like show a div within the div, uh, like write a text called Capgemini, and on click, uh, make a button below. On click of that button, just text should change to my name. So that is pretty straightforward and a simple application. Like, and if you are working with React, it would be very easy for you to do the same. Uh, so that is the fourth one that he asked me around. Uh, the after that, he asked me, uh, like, how, can you explain the different ways in which you can copy an object? So I explained whichever the way that I, I explained basically a four different ways for copying an object. Now after saying. Uh, he questioned me which one is a deep copy and what is a shallow copy and can you explain so yeah after that uh, he, uh, he gave me some javascript program right which is basically shorting an array uh, which is pretty straightforward you can write uh, like two for loops and one inside another and uh, you can google it up like how to sort an array you don't need to explicitly use in build method you, you are not allowed to use in build methods you need to use for loops uh, and the other one was the count the duplicates in an array. So, if, like if there are duplicates in an array, you should be able to count the duplicates in an array. And yes, so that is one thing. Again, no inbuilt methods in JavaScript you should use. The second one, uh, explain the lifecycle methods and whatever lifecycle methods I'll explain. Uh, I need to explain the same thing as well as on React hooks, which was present because I worked on both React hooks as well as like class components. So I need uh, he asked me to uh, like you know, do the same thing for class as well as uh, like hooks as well. Uh, it was the main difference between the arrow functions and normal functions. So there are quite a few differences, but I only said the main difference, which is the this keyword for this one. And then the other other question came up for Redux. Yeah, he was asking me what is the like state management tool that I use. I said I use Redux or uh, over context API. So then he asked me, with, can you explain me the workflow of the Redux? And I explained uh, him like the whatever the workflow of the Redux is basically there. Then uh, and he countered me a question with uh, why did you say it's called a PO function? Can you explain? Uh, so I also answered that properly. And after that, what what do you mean by controlled component and uncontrolled components? Uh, so this also I answered him correctly. 
and last he asked me about es6 features you have used then i i explain like whatever i use like destructuring uh, like arrow functions then whatever there is in the es6 feature i template literals default parameters so all these things i uh, say to him and after that he was like uh, asking me about like the work that i do in the company and what are the different types of like have i worked with a client or not so like a general question he was asking me now within the technical interview itself so the, it was quite short like around 35 to 40 minutes so these were all the questions that have been asked me from the round one technical so the day round one technical got concluded i didn't get any response uh, after after one after one or two days i get an email uh, regarding uh, regarding my uh, like each round will be scheduled at 11 am uh, the next day uh, after two days so at the like HR round, the HR discuss uh, was discussed. The basically discussion was on on the location, and like how the company works, what are the requirements for the act developers itself in general, and uh, about locations, uh, what are the different types of businesses that we can explore or something uh, different about the company itself. And uh, last part was the salary discussion. So that is pretty much it. Straightforward, nothing, nothing too fancy, nothing too common. It's just how the workflow process goes in an MC, MNC. So yeah, that's that. So guys, uh, if you if if you are trying to planning for interview at uh, Capgemini, you can you can refer to this set of questions. Or basically, I have uploaded TCS interview as well as uh, my uh, mind tree interview. They were also very good questions. Uh, you can revise on them. And before even sitting an interview, it will be very helpful for you to uh, just uh, as a revision as well. So I hope guys uh, to see you soon in my next interview video. I'll be uploading uh, Infosys or Accenture interview because both of them are done for me. So yeah, comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. And if you have any confusions or doubts, you can straight comment uh, whatever the doubts you have i'll be getting back within the email uh, within the comment it itself yeah thank you so much and have a great time